Webflow template tutorial for beginners how to customize Webflow templates. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use Webflow templates to create our own website. Basically it's pretty easy so let's get started. Firstly we'll come to webflow.com and here we are on the start page. As you can see in the top of the screen we have some information about their products, resources, enterprise, uh, and of course pricing, we'll discover it a little bit later. So let's click on get started in the right top corner right up here where we need to create an account so we can use an email or we can simply continue with Gmail. So this is the easiest way as for me. So you can do the same. And here we are on our home page. Uh, here we have like dashboard, marketplace, learn and resources. It's about uh, like tutorials. So on the dashboard, we can find all of our sites we already created, for example, two of these and both of them were created from templates. So let's delete one of them, just simply click on more and delete. And here we are, this website was successfully deleted. Moreover, we can like go to editor, share, move to folder, duplicate or delete as I already said. And of course, we have like our account settings on this toggle menu, public profile profile settings, workspace, updates, and send out option. So in order to create a website, we just simply need to click on a new site right up here and we'll come to our template page where we can find a lot of different templates. As you can see, they also provide us the opportunity to create it from scratch where we can simply click on blank site or portfolio starter, business starter and store starter. And after that, we can or customize these black, like black starters or we can simply start from scratch and if we'll scroll down for a little we can find a lot of different templates but as you can see all of them are paid like 79 dollars 129 79 34 if you click on view all we'll come to this page where they can be divided into different categories like by languages like categories like technology design business but all of them are not free like from 50 to maybe 200 dollars which is pretty, I think, high price if you are going to only start. So sometimes it could be really helpful to start for free and the Webflow provides us the opportunity to find some free websites. So on the creation page, we just need to scroll a little bit like uh, down. So we are going to free templates area. As you can see, there is like four templates, but if you click on view all, We'll come to the page where we can find a lot of uh, templates like free website templates and as you can see we can easily scroll down for a lot of to find a lot of different templates and they also like for different categories we can find like multi-purpose portfolio portfolio agency business blog coming soon and so on like personal coming soon corporate app mobile business multi-purpose like as you can see uh, everyone can find something which is suitable as for us for example if you need to find the website for the startup if you don't even have like any money to create a website we can easily use this template here so uh, i suggest you to try it for free do not pay money you can easily do it a little bit later so we can just simply click on the a template we like we can simply go to preview in browser and view how does it looks like as for me this website looks pretty pretty cool and you know it's enough to create this website for the startup which is only on the start page so for example we can use click on use for free and here we are we'll add this site to our dashboard we can add the name so let it be like start up let it be like this and we're going to click on create site and in a few seconds we'll come to our uh, editing page where we can find a lot of stuff we can interact with so it may take a little time let's wait for a little yeah here we are in the upper screen we can find the option to switch between different devices as you can see we can just simply click on it here the same here we can click on i icon and we'll switch to the full preview option where we can like try to change the width and view how does it looks like as you can see it's fully responsive and as for me this is a huge advantage as for webflow so let's go to edit mode and in the left side there is like option to add some elements as you can see we can add like layouts basic stuff like div block list list item button and so on some headings paragraph text link a lot of stuff could be added by the 
Webflow Editor. So image, video, YouTube, form block and so on. Huge amount of different elements could be added, but you know, you should know that firstly we need to add some basic for D, for example, to create like uh, some images. We need to add the D firstly. So when everything is done, we can manage our structure in the navigator area where we can find the structure of our website. It looks like this. We can open every single toggle list. For example, if in body there is like navbar, hero video, and so so. In navbar, there's like container with logo block, nav menu, and all of them contain something inside. So this is a way of how can we manage this structure. If you'll go to page area, we can find a lot of stuff we can switch between. We can go to like, for example, uh, UI area and so on. So let's go back to home page. Uh, we can also add the team here. As you can see, we can add the members to edit the website together and we can set up our online store also and use all the media or upload our own images to use it for for example, for this website here, as you can see, all the media which is used is performed here. So uh, in order to customize something, we just simply need to click on it. And as you can see, we have like some settings here. We can choose the heading type, uh, add some other stuff, but the main settings are performed in the right uh, side menu. So we can just simply click on it here. For example, I can view instead of Webflow, we can view the helper man, the name of our channel and like, like like this basically we can change the heading type and so on and there are a lot of settings we can change we can for example change the make it bold italic make it like this and in the right side there's like option to change the margin change the spacing change the layout so these are the way of basically how can we interact with uh, different properties and in order to publish website we need to simply need to click on publish in the right top corner choose the domain we can choose from free one or choose the custom so i'm going to choose free and i just just simply click on publish to select the domains and in a few seconds everything is basically done and our website is available on the internet we can just simply go to this website and as you can see now it looks like this is our helper month startup kit so as for me it's pretty cool that they provide us the opportunity to publish our website for free so now we can just simply go to dashboard in the left top corner and as you can see yeah uh, we can simply find it right up here so if you'll try to discover our pricing plans we can find that uh, there is like for general and e-commerce plans and the prices are differences and the offers are also differences so i suggest you to try it for free and after that decide which plan is the best as for you so this is a way of how can we use webflow templates to build our website hope guys this video helped you out if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below i wish you a very good day goodbye